What's up guys, let me talk to you about radio. Why do you want radio? It's possible you heard about radio from being on YouTube, you see channels like mine, or you're at work and you see your friend talking about radio, and particularly we're talking about ham radio, amateur radio, that kind of thing. And you start thinking about getting licensed, and you start thinking about buying a radio, and you think about what you can do with that radio. So this is the first part of a series of videos I'm gonna do on the introduction of amateur radio this kind of radio. This is a Baofeng UV5R, one of the cheapest radios you can buy. For $25 you can get into radio, get started, get talking, well, maybe not get talking, more on that later. But you can get started listening, and listening and getting information is why radio is so important. Up until the last couple of decades, radio was still the most popular form of transferring data between vocal data between groups of people. And we still have those vestiges of the past uh, technologies and, and the past popularity of radio. Those things still exist and they become really, really vital to your survival in a case of a disaster or a power outage or something where the, the, the status quo, happy time, as I like to call it, the logistics, are gone. You know, your cell phone is based off of a system of different antennas that rep, uh, reproduce and amplify your signal and the data and everything uh, re regarding your phone. If at any time that goes away, you lose all the capability of said phone. Even down to the capability of using a text message just goes away. However, this guy, this guy can still function. So there's four main reasons why you want a radio. The first is you can talk to other radios. Just radio to radio, you type in the frequency that you're going to listen to. This is all pre-coordinated. More on that too in the next couple of videos. You type in the frequency you want to talk to, you push down the button, and you're talking to that person that's listening on that frequency. You're also talking to whoever else is listening on that frequency. That's also something important to think about. Second thing, repeaters. Repeaters are like really big radios that record what you're saying and broadcast it simultaneously to everybody that's listening on that frequency. You can take something like this that has a limited range and blow it out into hundreds of miles and capable of lots of people hearing it and you have massive, massive infrastructure for communication. Think about a party line in the case of a survival situation. How important would that be to your survival, getting access to medicine, getting access to tools, getting access to people, getting access to assistance, etc, etc. Two other majorly important things, and I call these direct to source reasons why you want a radio. One, this will function as a police scanner. This will function as a fire scanner. This will function as a public works scanner. I'm sitting in front of a public works sign right here. There's a public works trailer right in front of me that I'm using as my tripod. Public Works operates on unencrypted radios. So think of every situation of a disaster. Where do you wanna, who do you wanna listen to? You wanna listen to Public Works. Public Works tells you about where there are closures in roads. Public Works tells you about where there are floodings. Public Works tells you where there's down power lines. Public Works tells you the logistics of what's going on. And if your desire is to know at a given moment what's gonna come back online, what's gonna be available to you, what's not gonna be available to you, how long it's not gonna be available, Public Works is the place to go. And then of course you still have police, you still have fire. A lot of times they use encrypted, uh, encrypted channels, you can't listen to what they're saying, but a lot of them don't, and you get a lot of information very quickly just through that. And then the last item is NOAA, N-O-A-A, -A, and that is your weather stations. So in this radio, you've got a, a walkie-talkie, you've got a repeater broadcast communication device, you've got a scanner, and you've got a weather radio. And that's just the start. This is a $25 radio. I have radios that are way more expensive that do way more than that. Think about digital GPS triangulation with text messaging. Think about that. Think about connecting to your laptop and being able to do uh, positioning of where you are at and also receive positioning from other people. How would that be valuable to you? Would it be valuable in a survival situation if you're out hiking, if you're out wherever with a team of people or you're looking for someone that has been lost and you're doing a uh, survival rescue type of thing? That is amazingly useful. All of that is capable with this, with this start of just a simple, simple radio. So hopefully this is gonna be interesting to you. I hope that you'll wanna tune in for more. And so we'll, we'll start with that, guys. Thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you soon.
If I was successful in planting a seed in your mind that you're interested in getting a radio or interested in becoming a part of radio, check out my A-Store link down below in the description. You don't have to buy from me, you don't have to do that at all, but it'll give you handy links to Amazon for what I recommend would be a good starting set of radio equipment. It'll be under $100, uh, for some of it'll be under $50, and I'll, I'll lay out what you need, what will help you, and what will keep frustration low. Problem with uh, radio is it's very technical and it can get frustrating. But for myself, you know, use the lessons learned from me banging my head against the wall. Take my tips and make it easy for yourself. So check out the link below and um, yeah, let me know what you think guys in the comments. Thanks a lot. You can see here's the, uh, look at all these signs. Anybody want any cones guys? <laughs> I tried to also get into the box here and say something like Hotanasi rules, but it's locked. Don't feel like picking it either.